Led Zeppelin, when the levee breaks. All right, so let's play through all the different sections of the song here. Uh, after that, I'll go back through and guide you through it a little more, give you some explanation of what's going on. Before we jump into the song, do me a big favor, hit that subscription button, help out the channel, be greatly appreciated. All right, and uh, let's get on into this, When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Okay, so we get this intro riff here. Just to start off here, you want to be in a C tuning here. All right, so we're going to have a bottom string here, C, next string F, C, F, A, C. Okay, special slide tuning there. All right, so the intro riff, uh, I just like to do this with uh, fingers. Um, you could do it with the slide too. Uh, either way sounds good. I think it sounds a little more clear um, doing this one with the fingers. Um, so we're just going to do a pull off here. Three on the uh, second string, three on the third string here. All right, which is the F and the C string now, was the A and D. Okay, so pull that off to open. All right, hit the open second string again, open middle C there. All right, and then we'll hit this uh, big chord from uh, the fourth string all the way up. Okay. Okay, try that. And just before the measure's out, we'll do a couple of quick open second and third strings here. All right, and then the second measure. We're gonna do that pull off again. You can get even like all the way to that middle F string there. So the F C F strings at the third fret, do a pull off to open. Okay, hit the uh, second and third string open again. And then we do that same pull off again and that same uh, set of open strings. All right, and then we just land that on fives at the very end, okay, with the uh, F, C, F string there. Okay, second, third, fourth string. All right, so slowly here. Okay, and in the intro, we would go through that four times. Okay, so after we go through that initial intro riff four times, then we kind of switch gears a little bit with this. It's almost the same thing, but we just spread it out a little more. All right, so this is like the intro part two, 
And this is also what happens uh, for the verse pattern as well. And for the verse pattern, we would go through it twice. All right, so we'll do our initial pull off from threes to open on the second and third string like we usually do. All right, but uh, after that, uh, we're just gonna do some strumming here. Um, do about three strums of the second, third, and fourth string. Okay. All right, and then we'll just do a couple of those quick strums with the same strings to finish the measure. All right, so essentially we're just doing that one pull off and then we're just strumming some opens to, to make that measure instead of doing, you know, a bunch of pull offs. Okay, you do three measures like that and then uh, to cap that off on the fourth measure, we would do that, you know, the ending of the uh, intro riff style. Okay, with the two pull-offs and then landing on the five. Okay, so it's just kind of a slight little like variant that happens. Um, so we would go through that entire thing three times, and then the fourth time, we just basically do exactly that same riff that we did in the intro. Okay, the pull-off to the uh, big chord strum to the two pull-offs and then land on the five. All right. So kind of a, a funny little, you know, snaking around of different uh, riffs that look and feel the same, but are just slightly different. Okay, so let's try this up to tempo here. Now we can get the slide involved here. Um, basically, we're just going to slide, it's like the first interlude section, I guess. We'll slide all the way up to eights on the fourth, third, second, and first string here. Okay, just slide up to eights, strum on it uh, about eight times. Okay, then from there, slide up to tens. Strumming that about four times. All right, and then we'll drop down and we do this threes to open, five to open. All right, and repeat that twice. All right, so four measures worth of stuff there and we just do that all twice. Bridge section comes along. Uh, this will kick off with just kind of those that same uh, you know fourth string up uh, type chords, and uh, it just starts off with an open. All right. All right, and then it goes to a couple of twelves. All right, do the open again. A couple of sevens. All right, open. Okay, and then we hit a couple of fives and then go up to a seven. All right, now we finish it by doing 10, 12. All right, so we go through those four measures and for this initial bridge, you wanna do that six times because a couple of them happen like just by themselves. All right, so let's do this up to speed here. All right, and then we get the more lead style of the slide going here. It It's essentially following uh, pretty close to what the uh, bridge is doing, but uh, we're just kind of picking through uh, certain notes of it, okay? So we'll start it by doing uh, 12 to 10 on the high C here, okay, this highest string. Okay, 12 to 10, and then we do slide up to 12 on the second string back to the 12 of the high C.
Okay. And then we just take that same riff we did there and we just drop it down to seven. Okay, we go seven to five on the high C, uh, seven, slide up to seven on the second string, and then uh, back to the seven of the high C. All right, and then sure enough, we take what we did there, drop it down to the fifth fret and do that same thing. Five to three, five on the uh, second string, the A, and then we do five to seven on the high C. Okay, and then we just bring that to 10 to 12 on the high C. Okay, so it's just kind of following a lot what the, uh, that bridge is doing. All right, so let's do this up to tempo for you. Okay, and you want to do that three times initially. Okay, the second part of that slide solo lead, uh, it's kind of incorporating the same things, but we just get higher with it. Uh, we do our 12 to 10 on the high C, back to the 12 on the second string. Okay, but this time we're going to bring that high C all the way up to 17. Okay, come back down, we do 12 to 10 on the high C, then we do a 10, 12, 10 on that second string, the A there. Alright, from there we do the 12 to 10 on the high C, back up to the 12 on the second string. Come all the way up to the 17, down to 15, and then take that 15 back to 17. Okay, try it up to tempo. Okay, and you want to go through that a couple times. All right, and once we get through, you know, another verse and all that good stuff, another uh, interlude section, uh, we get to these uh, slide lead sections again. So basically you want to do that first part of the slide lead twice, uh, the second part, go through that just once, and then we add this new little wrinkle here, um, where when we go from the 12 to 10 on the high C back to the 12 on the second string, and then we take it all the way up to 17, you want to do that twice, okay? Okay, so just hammer it out a couple times there, just the same. Um, then we would uh, essentially do uh, how we usually end it there, where uh, 12 to 10 on the high C, back to 12 on the second string, bring it up to 17, do the 15, and then the 15 to 17. Okay, so it kind of ends the same as usual. All right, so let's just try those two new parts uh, up to tempo here. All right, continuing with that outro lead, we add a new section again here. Uh, this is kind of just repetitive where we do 12 to 10 on the high C, hit the 12 on the second string, and you just want to reel that off like three times, all right? All right, and then we would finish that by doing all the way up to 17 on the high C, down to 15 to 17. Okay, and you want to do that a couple times. Okay, and then we would just uh, wrap that up by doing the first part of the uh, slide lead section, just once. All right, and towards the very end, we get uh, some kind of interesting little slide lead riffs here. Uh, this initial one, it's I'm pretty sure it's uh, just kind of a reversed little thing that they do there. Um, but to do it, you know, to close to sounding that way, uh, you would do it something like this, where we go, uh, start high with the 17, 15, 17. Okay. Hit the 15, slide it down to 12, back up to 15 and then down to 12. Okay. And at the very end, uh, we do this little bit where it's on the, uh, what would be the G string, it's now the F. All right, uh, it's 12, 10, seven. 
All right, and then we come up and we do 12, 10 on the high C to the 12 on the second string. Okay, slide up to 15 on the high C. And then just give that a big slide out. All right, and then that funky little ending, uh, which is just a quick three open, three open on the uh, what would be A and D. Okay, is now the F and C. Okay, just real quick, back to back. All right, just a funky little thing to cap it off there. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tabletry books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.